Hi, this is Ron Edwards, Master Sommelier and Director of Wine Education for Winebow Fine Wine and Spirits. Today I'm excited to taste the new vintage of Figuier's Méthode Traditionnelle wine, Atmosphere. This wine is uh, made in Provence from classic Provence grapes, Sanso, 65%, Grenache, 35%. Uh, it just is extra brute style and is just a really delightful option in pink wine from Provence. You might be surprised that you can have Meto traditional wine from that part of the world, but you know what? Bubbles are great from everywhere, and this is another exciting option, so let's explore it. There's a sweet cherry, tart cherry, strawberry raspberry combination right at the beginning of the nose with just a little essence of oh i don't know something a little bit, a bit like honey and flowers combined and then uh, there's also a white fruit character here green apple pear and then it it really is showing like a white flower petal like white rose it smells mouth-watering and um there's um a combination of like cocoa powder and um, English tea biscuit or short dough with a touch of um, like lemon coming through now. No, not lemon, tangerine. It's really intriguing and inviting. Let's taste it. The fruit is really bright and the texture is wonderful. So it starts with the cherry nuance, tart cherry, sweet cherry, but added to that, that I didn't smell in the nose now, is uh, like pomegranate extract, fresh, bright strawberry. Um, that white flower petal, white rose is coming through. There's a little bit of a um, salty, spicy note to this wine. Um, like uh, almost like arugula and sea salt. Uh, then there's um, the pear is coming through, that tangerine note. The mousse of the wine, the texture after you let it sit in your mouth, really is, it becomes soft and, and really quite delightful. Uh, this is really showing its breed and class of having been, you know, aged sur lot, just like normal en tirage, like you would for any rosé champagne. I really like their choice in dosage on this staying extra brute. The wine's not going to be as tart in Provence as it would be in Champagne, and so that warmer climate kind of begs you to back off on what you're going to use in dosage. And the dryness of this wine is in perfect harmony with its riper fruit and um, uh, a little bit broader texture. I like this wine a lot. I think you should go out and find a bottle of it and give yourself a new option in delicious sparkling wine for any day of the week.